Hey guys, what's up? This is Cory, and welcome back to Amnesia Machine for Pigs. So last time we left off talking about Pokemon and... Crap. I was gonna answer this phone, but it stopped ringing. I waited too long. It was gonna be that guy. Well, I'm guessing I don't need to hear whatever he has to say, because... I mean, well... I can't hear him, I can't listen to him now. So, whatever. Okay, each compartment is ergonomic... Ergonomo Oh my gosh, each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed-through at one end, so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. Okay. <laughs> we use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the carts against the belt to build an electrical charge, which is contained within glass vacuum canisters at the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling. We've observed that the artificial lighting, lightning contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further. The product. What is that? It's like they're talking about people as... Uh, Post-stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical, the physics of which tips the stunned product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. Oh my god, the hook passes normally through the haunch or thigh of the product, and from this point, we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channeled flower, which creates... Or, oh, channeled floor, which creates a funneling allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run to the fluid collection tanks. That is horrible sounding. Oh my god. I'm still not sure whether they're talking about people or pigs with all this. It's kind of... weird. But anyways, um, can answer the phone, but hopefully we can go through this door. And it's locked. Of course. Um, well, I can go down here... And I could go down over this way. What the fuck? Be quiet. Who's screaming? Shh. I'm trying to do a let's play. You're interrupting my commentary. Uh oh. This is gonna suck if I have to run. Okay. Let's see what we got going on over here. Oh, another furnace. You'd think grabbing that would, like, hurt. Um, buttons that don't do anything. Okay, this is marked 1. I'm gonna remember that, just in case. And, okay, there's 2. And it is empty. I can't pick up the shovel and fill it. Oh, I can take these out, though. I'm not really sure why I would want to, but... Okay. Whoa, okay, that was loud. Jeez. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, no, maybe I'm supposed to... Hang on. I think I should leave those in there, because it needs to have something to burn, right? And then put these other ones in there in addition. And then close it, and maybe it'll... start working. Let's try that out. Um... Light is blinking red. Whoa! Okay, there we go. Sweet. Got it. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. I almost screwed it up there, though. Okay. Piston control room. No thanks! Um, I'll just go this way. In the comfort of the, of the fire. Ah. Uh, oh, what? You want me to go? Fine. I'll just go kill myself. Not literally. Gosh. Oh, it's nice and well lit in here. That's a good sign. Hmm. See, I could close... You know, okay, I'll just close it. That's what I always want, like... I never know what to do, because, like, if you close the door, then that could prevent a monster from coming in. But then if a monster comes from the room you just entered, then that door that you just closed is in your way if you're trying to escape, so... A series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In process, in the process of stunning and bleeding, the proc... Oh my god. The product often expels stinking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. Ugh. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine, and productivity is actually increased. Okay, what you just described there is perpetual motion or perpetual energy, and that's actually impossible. So, <laughs> a simple stroke of genius, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory automation. Automation. Although O's look like U's, the the top isn't connected. It keeps tripping me up. Okay, chair. 
Go. Into the ceiling fan. Um, okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna need to make that six go green. <laughs> oh. Okay, what else do we got in here? Six. Well, I guess I should go in here. Uh, okay. This is looking the same as the last room. So, okay, five, okay, here we go. Just gotta do the same thing we just did with the other one, I guess. So there's only one piece here. Is that gonna be enough? Because I don't see any more. Well, let's try it. Oh, come on, go, close. All right, and yeah, I can't push the button. So, you gotta get more, I'm, I'm assuming this is coal, we gotta get more coal from somewhere, but I have no idea where. Danger, no entry to the under pistons when machinery is at rest. Pistons are silent, the plant is at rest. I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way, I fear. The scale of these engines suggests a far greater work than is visible from the surface, so my friend must be correct, and the larger part of this plant is underground. You're close to the Thames. No wonder flooding is such a risk. Great. So, this is closed, though. Unlike the last one, it was already open, and I was able to crouch under it, and I don't really see how I could go about opening it. Oh, here's some more pieces of coal. Okay. Wow, I can't even throw it, really? Okay, I guess I'll just carry them one by one. <laughs> just lug them around. So the last one needed four, I think it was. So there's two. I only saw one more over here, though. There's one. Whoa, I did not let go of the mouse button. I'm not sure why that dropped. Okay, well, I guess three will have to be enough, unless I'm missing something. Oh, I know why it dropped, because my stupid mouse is acting up again. Okay, let's try that out for size. On for size. Nope. Oh, wait, yeah, there we go. Okay, for some reason it didn't look like the button was flashing. Okay, so there we go. Six is good to go, so now we can go back into this room. And turn on the pistons, maybe? I don't know. Because he said they're silent. Alright, all lights are green. That's only six, two, and four. Is one, three, and five here? Oh, okay. So we gotta do three. That one's not working yet either. I see. Oh, and this is all right here. So that's nice. There's two. Is that it? I guess so. Okay, now they're all on. The fires are stoked. That doesn't sound good. Again, it, I, it sounds like it could be a machine, but it also sounds like it could be a monster roaring. Uh, I don't even know, but I'm gonna read that. Okay, the fires are stoked. Assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralized control system regulates and operates the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. Okay, control system that regulates and operates the pistons. Well, isn't that what this is supposed to be? This is the piston control room. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that those are indeed only mechanical sounds. Although it's pretty freaky. Good god. Uh oh. No flickering. Okay, well, let's see. Stop. Are your furnaces fueled? Yes, they are. Okay, let's do this. One. Two. What? Come on, go. Two. And three. Oh, fuck, really? You're gonna be like that? This is scary, guys. I don't know what to do. It's loud and dark. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Crap. I'm guessing I have to go over. Oh, shit! What? No. no! No, 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 It was running. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. No, 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 no. Please. Where did it go? Please don't come at me, bro. 
Uh oh, it's flickering again. Where is he? Okay, I'm just gonna get under this and start running down the stairs. Oh, shit. This is so scary. Oh, what? What is happening? God, just all these machines going on. It makes it hard to tell if there's something coming after me or if it's just noises from the pistons. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's so dark. Fuck. I heard it. It was like right there. Oh, jeez. Why are those flickering? Is there a door? I gotta get out of here. I have to get out of here. Where do I go? Help! Uh. Uh. No! Oh! Oh. Where is it? Oh, shit. Is that it over there? Uh. Oh no. Oh god. There's so many things moving. Oh, my eyes hurt. Holy f fuck. Go away. Uh. It's right there. I can't see it from here, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um, I feel like trapped in this corner, like I'm gonna die if I try to go anywhere else. Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna run this way. Get away from where that thing is. Okay, okay. That's where I came in, isn't it? No, maybe not. See, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, or how I'm supposed to survive with this crazy demonic pig monster rampaging around um uh oh where why do I turn it off I don't know because I don't want it to see me I just answered my own question okay I don't even like know what I'm talking about anymore I can't, like, explore this room very well because I need to find out what to do, but the thing is in here somewhere and it's trying to find me and I'm trying to stay away from it. Ah, crap. Man, okay, this is starting to get annoying. Because I... I'm just walking in circles. Like, there's absolutely no indication... of what to do next. Meanwhile, I'm also freaking out internally. It's like, it's gotta be something to do with this. There's gotta be some controls or some way to turn on this conveyor belt. Wait, have I even been over this way yet? I don't think I have. This looks new. Uh oh. No, don't flicker now. God damn it. Oh god, there he is. Hello, sir. Oh, jeez. Okay, it ran over that way. Nope, 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 nope. Oh crap. Okay, hang on, hang on. Did not mean to, uh, hit that. I hit R instead of F, I think. See, like, I can't get over there if that thing is just... gonna run out every time. Holy Jesus! It's, it's so close! And it's fast! Oh no. What's with the intense music? Oh god. It's nearby. It was just chasing me, or trying to find me, wasn't it? 
Uh, and I keep seeing like the pistons and stuff moving and thinking that's it. Okay, I don't think I can go that way. I'm gonna try running over here. I don't even know if I've been to this area yet or not. Oh, there's stuff blocking it. That's the only way I can go and continue down further. But how am I supposed to get past the beast every time I get like this far out? Okay, so far so good. More metal mesh blocking it. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Nope. Oh god, he better not be behind me. Hello? Just let me be. I'm not trying to intrude on you. Holy fuck! Oh no, just pass. Just run out and pass by me, please. Oh, fuck. I hear it. It's- oh god. Oh god, don't see me. Uh. Oh, jeez. I'm hiding in a corner. You don't know I'm here. Okay. God, it's so ugly. But it can move so fast sometimes, too. Okay, I think I'm safe for the moment. Got a moment's peace. But I still have no idea where the hell to go. Oh, down this way, maybe? Or is this just gonna... So gr oh, God. Okay, no, this isn't progress. Oh, God, my lantern just went all the way out. Where... Where is he? Pig face man? Sir? Okay, um... Do I go in here? Holy crap. Why would anyone in their right mind do this? <sighs> what did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath and I will save them. Honestly, if these are my kids, I don't know if I could go through all this crap. Like, seriously? I mean, obviously I can't really say because I'm not a parent, but, like, this is just too horrifying. Freaking beast pig monster chasing after you. I mean, how... Just go home and... Okay, I'm not going down that way. <laughs> not a chance. Whoa, why did the light just get all blue? Okay, that made a really weird noise. Oh no, they're both locked. I guess I have to go down here. Please don't be an intense chase anytime soon. Uh, I just want to get out of here. Please. Stop with the flickering. And now I really don't want to open that door. I really, really don't. What is going on in here? Hang on. Chemical transportation. Danger. Highly corrosive. Highly flammable. Um. Okay, so why did I just go in there? <laughs> in the nest of eggs. The factory is quiet now. Stumbling the alley. A wench. A wrench hung loosely from his hand. Oil and grease dripping off it. Looking like blood in the half light. Well, I hope the factory is quiet. I'd rather have that than a scary thing. Okay, well, that's about it. All I can take for now. So I think that'll have to do it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give the video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time when we continue with whatever is happening here. See, whoa, okay. See you then. Goodbye.